The American people have to be ready for even higher energy prices. I think, you know, there is an understanding of that this is in essence a small price to pay. Guys, you just have to pay more for our inept administration. You just have to pay more. You just have to pay $8 for gas. We don't know how, for how long you're gonna have to pay more, but you do. It's the price for freedom. Look, this is not to defend Russia's actions. You cannot invade a sovereign nation just because you want to. Putin has the idea of greater Russia, right? He wants to return to 50 years ago and the Soviet Union and all of those things. This in no way is a defense of Putin or his actions, but it is our own administration's ineptitude that has led to all of these gas prices. And now they are trying to collapse our economy so they can usher in their green energy and their electric cars and all of those things. And they have pumped so much imaginary money into the economy that we know inflation is crazy. It's 7.5%, uh, but now people are saying it could really be as high as 10%. That's, that's what's coming out today, that when they're telling you 7.5, there's actually a lot of indicators that show that it's closer to 10%, which means you have 10 per, however much money you think you have in your bank account right now, go look at your Chase account, you have 10% less. You have 10% less right now as the cost of things continue to rise, right? So we all know meat's going up, chicken's going up, all goods and services all going up on top of the fact that the supply chain stuff, the stores don't have as much stuff. Your money is worth less and the price of things is going higher. But don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. Joe Biden's on it because, you know, none of this could possibly be his fault. Make no mistake. The current spike in gas prices is largely the fault of Vladimir Putin. It has nothing to do with the American Rescue Plan. Liar, liar, your dementia pants are on fire. It has nothing to do with the American Rescue Plan. It has nothing to do with the fact that we just print money, more and more money, and we just put it into the economy and it just sort of sits there and exists and people don't go to work and nothing's really working. It has nothing to do with that when you print money, you deflate the value of money in the first place. They are trying to destroy the dollar. And I honestly think they're trying to destroy America. I really do at this point. They are trying to destroy the America we all know and we all knew. That's what they're trying to do. And they lie to us about absolutely everything. So they, when they lie to you about gender and then you accept it, well, then next thing you know, they're lying to you about bio labs, whether they exist or not. And then they're lying to you about what inflation actually is and what happens when you endlessly print money, money that we don't have in the first place. It's not like we got a whole bunch of money just sitting somewhere and occasionally we're going in and taking it, right? Like we've got this nest egg somewhere of all this money that we've done, that we've done gone saved, right? And every now and again, we're like, ah, we do need more because, you know, times are struggling right now. There is this war, like let's go into the, the reserves and pull out some money. We're just borrowing more and more money and deflating the value of American currency. That's what we are doing right now, but you know, thank you, Joe. It's not your fault. It's because of Russia. It's because of Russia, right? It has nothing to do with you canceling the Keystone XL pipeline, which would have brought 800,000 barrels of oil from Canada, which now is some of it's coming uh, via railroad, uh, but it's like there were 10,000 jobs that were lost because of this thing. We could have more oil flowing. We all know this. We can unleash America's resources. We've got a lot of oil here, but no, 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 because they're telling you, actually, we're trying to rejigger the entire economy. Actually, we're trying to make sure we go to electric uh, cars and all of these things. That's what uh, I think Pete Buttigieg, Gay Pete said, we're going to have 500,000 electric ch uh, car charging stations. Make it easier to drive electric vehicles. You're talking about charging stations. We're putting together a network of 500,000 charging stations around the country. I don't know if we're going to have that many cars because we can't build anything and we can't get microchips from Taiwan, but that's a whole other thing. 